Today we're outside on the practice range with new Mizuno T24 wedges. And today we're going to review everything about these wedges, the look, the feel, the performance. We've got Michael Geiger here as well to join us for his feedback. And we'll tell you everything you need to know about the Mizuno T24 wedges. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf, joined today by Michael Geiger here on the practice area at Les Bolstead today because we have new T24 wedges from Mizuno. Um, always exciting when you hit new Mizuno Forge products, yeah. irons or wedges, because number one, they already feel um, it's like some of the best golf clubs out there. But mm -hmm. uh, Mizuno also has quietly been making really, really good wedges, and they have sort of two categories of wedges. They have the you know, their sort of T-series, which is kind of their, their tour product built generally for better players. Mm -hmm. And the sort of S wedges, S21, S23 series designed for some more forgiveness maybe in there. But today we've got the T24s. So a um, lot to discuss here, Michael, but your first uh, reaction when you look at these, you see the different uh, you know, finishes on them, or maybe even that kind of modified teardrop shape. Uh, what what comes to your mind first? Sure. Well, I mean, the first thing when you see the Mizuno logo, you think about sort of the credibility that comes from sort of their their forging process in Japan and and the way they they put these together. You know, obviously the irons have an yep. impeccable uh, you know uh, reputation mm -hmm. in the industry. The wedges sort of fly under the radar. I feel like I've played Mizuno wedges in the past. Uh, I'm a big fan of of the feel, uh, the look this year with the T24. Um, it's fairly compact, but the, the, the kind of the teardrop shape towards the toe is very distinct. So they really went with kind of a bold look. They have a couple different finishes, mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm really curious to see how they perform today. Yeah, and I saw, the other thing too is there's five different grinds. Now they added a B grind this year, which is a kind of like a higher bounce, but still aggressive relief type of grind. So that's gonna be one we'll test today as well. But also we have the C grind, um, which is kind of a lower bounce but also aggressive grind there mm -hmm. there's uh obviously the s grind is going to be your standard bounce x is going to be very versatile so you have options there for our fitters but also you the player get to choose based on the way you use your wedges um, from a variety of options that also i mean that gives any wedge you know manufacturer a big advantage for us in the fitting bay is having all these options for grind bounce relief depending on what that player uses um, then we also got to talk about the groove technology and hydro flow and quad cut so yep. you're going to get a on a spin and then also they're designed in any conditions you know if it's raining if it might be moist out there or it's maybe firm whatever it might be you're going to get that consistent spin from these wedges yeah with every wedge you look for versatility right i mean many golfers use typically one wedge for the majority of their short game shots for some it's a 56 58 60 and so one big kind of box that i'm going to be looking to see if the t24s check today is is can they hit a variety of shots can they hit kind of the low spinner can they hit the high soft one uh, that versatility will be kind of a will go a long way towards determining kind of how, you know how quality this mm -hmm. T24 is. Sure. So we'll right now we're at about 50 yards away from the pin. We're gonna hit a like Michael said a variety of kind of different shots. We'll go for the low maybe chase and runner, maybe the hop and stop, maybe hit a high soft one there, and then maybe we'll maybe try a bunker shot as well. Let's do it. But, um, we gotta test these out. These look fantastic. So let's do it. All right. All right, Mr. Geiger, we are here, like you mentioned, about 50 yards away from that, uh, I guess, the, the farthest back pin on that green. Mm -hmm. So uh, talk to me about maybe the shot, you know, when you have a wedge, uh, this type of distance, right? Yep. Um, what type of shot do you like to go to in this scenario? I like this kind of shot because there's really every option open to the player. If you yep. want to hit a super high one, you can. There's enough green to work with that you can kind of play a low runner. Uh, I try to get the ball on the green about as quickly as possible, so I'll probably try to land this a yard or two onto the green, a couple big hops, and then hopefully maybe a little bit of spin. Okay. Ooh. Oh, did you just make it? Oh, that's, that'll work. Yeah, so that one probably got about, what, like six feet high maybe? On, yeah. On, the, on the, its uh, peak height, if you will? Yeah, no problem hitting it low off a tight lie. But then it just kind of big one hop and stop and roll out. So that could be really good too. Oh yeah, there's the action. Yeah, two nice and close there. Yeah, knock in one more. Ooh, that's a good ball. Oh yeah. So how's the feel of that thing now? I Pretty mean, soft. Is it soft? It, yeah. It's soft. You know, you feel like you can trap it, and it gets that kind of piercing flight. But mm -hmm. you, you know, you're not getting that tumbler where it's it just right. takes off on you. So. 
pretty impressed with the feel. Yeah, because right. you don't feel like you have to manipulate a ton of things to get the, I guess, the control on the green that you're looking for. No, no, that was very square, just just very standard. I wasn't really doing yeah. anything with the hands. It was uh, just a pretty stock shot. Sure, sure, okay. Well, uh, I think I'm gonna give this a crack here. Maybe hit a higher lob shot if you Yeah. Will. So you're going high. I'm going high. Uh, it's also, it's fun. I mean, this is a very clean, like I, I there's nothing like a fresh, brand new set of grooves on a satin chrome finish. I mean, it's- Off a tight lie. Yep. All right. Looking for a nice soft landing here. Very nice. All right. I think I can get it a little higher though than that, right? I think so. I think I can, even though it's a tight lie, kind of. Ooh, that almost that was that almost plays more like a low kind of hop and stop. Yeah, it worked out. All right, I'm gonna open the face a little bit here. Open the face. I've got the, the new V grind here, so should be able to get some open face to get the club underneath it a little bit. Whoa, what a bounce. It did stop though. Stopped. I must have caught like a leaf or something there, but clearly there's some good control with these things though. What do you think of the look? So I, I like the look because I, so I'm not, I've played the, like the, the high toe design before. Mm -hmm. Now this is not quite that. No. It's not an I2 or it's not the, you know, the tailor-made high toe or the PM grind from Callaway, but you can clearly open and close it as you wish. And you're going to be able to make clean contact. Um, like you said, it doesn't feel like there's a lie. I know again, we're, we have the C grinds low bounce. Mm -hmm. um, this is a little bit higher bounce, but it, it doesn't feel like there's a lie that's too tight for you. With right. these and you can still again open close with the relief on the on the various grinds so um yeah you can get a variety of shots of these things all right we're at the beach yeah um so we well, got like a 20 yard bunker shot here well, how do you assess that and sure you know is, do you got do you go upstairs with your shot do you keep it low i mean do you like a chunk and run what's your plan well, on this one it'll be pretty chunk and run adjacent yeah. um i like to play unless i'm going super super high i like to play everything pretty square um you know, really dig in mm -hmm. and then just, you know, don't, don't screw it up. It's not the yeah. hardest bunker shot in the world. Right. Very nice there. Starting to feed towards the hole. Heard a nice soft thud there too. Yeah. It seemed like it, it kind of cut through what we have here is some rather kind of wet sand. Soft thud there. A little too soft. Let's try it. Let's go. Let's try an upstairs one here now. Yeah. You said you got a couple of different avenues. I know typically this would be a shot where if you have a lot of green to work with, you'll run it. And yeah, honestly, on greens that you're probably used to speed wise, that one gets those two get a lot closer. But let's let's see as if you got to carry this one like 15 yards. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that stopped pretty quick, too. Because you're able to open the face on that oh, one. Oh, totally. And clearly, just slide the club right under, hit the ball, or hit the sand. And... Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, scaring the hole there. So yeah. clearly, we can hit multiple shots here. Definitely. Feels great through the sand. Um, this is a pretty pretty neutral sand. It's not too soft, not too firm. And really, whatever shot you want to feel, you can hit yeah. it. Yeah, and then obviously, you can further optimize this with the right grind um, that fits your swing and, and you know obviously Michael has was able to hit a couple different shots here mm -hmm. um, but you know obviously if you are even steeper than Michael or maybe you're you're more shallow than Michael you can uh, you know optimize that with the right grind here which Rizuna has a ton of options which is really really nice as well for the fitters absolutely All right, Michael, testing complete there. Obviously, we didn't test every golf shot that you're going to have with a wedge. Um, there's, you know, we could have gone back to 100 yards and hit wedge shots. We could have, you know, done little bump and runs from the fringe. But um, we took out a few different shots, and I think we kind of came to the conclusion that these wedges allow you to hit all of the shots that you really are going to look for. They do. And really, the, the key thing, especially with wedges, it you can sort of fit yourself, but you really want to talk to a fitter. This is, this is the kind of thing that every golfer chips very differently they bottom out the club they release it very differently and so whether it's you know the c grind whether it's the v grind whatever you need that's really a good conversation to have with a second swing fitter because that's going to optimize you 
you know, more than anything we say here. Yeah, I think in, in terms of my own opinion, um, I like I like the shape. It's kind of growing on me as I look at it and swing it more. It is a little bit different. You mentioned it's not the, I guess, traditional or maybe standard shape out there in the market, but I, the more I am looking at it, the more inviting it is to me, despite mm -hmm. the fact that it is kind of a quote unquote tour or maybe a skilled player's wedge. So with that said, I, I mean, yeah, I think these cater more towards a maybe lower handicap mm -hmm. player um, a little bit just because there isn't the cavity in there. There isn't that as much perimeter waiting. But um, if you like this shape, if you like the kind of modified teardrop shape that you we've tried to show you here a little bit, I think part of that is just confidence that you're going to gain from it. Absolutely. It, it's really it's a look thing like like so often with wedges. So um, like you said, it's kind of kind of a hedge between a, a more standard look and a high toe. Um, so really just see for yourself mm -hmm. uh, if, it, if it suits your eye right and then of course as we mentioned a bunch of times the grinds that you know as you can see on screen right now the different grinds and what their purpose is um, just make sure you play the right one in your bag and obviously a lot of cases are that uh, you don't have the same grind for all the wedges in your bag so get with a fitter uh, get, schedule your fitting for t24 wedges they will be uh, a, a huge boost to your short game you'll hit uh, more uh, impressive short game shots save your scores save your pars and um, ultimately you'll score better. So Michael, thank you for joining today and hitting a variety of shots here. Um, I think those gonna be really good. I think so too.